Hello everyone and uh, in this video we'll be uh, doing the timestamps actually in front of our messages it'll show you the uh, we'll get the timestamp from the database let's go to our database and uh, our structure we need to add one more column here and we'll say time uh, whatever the column you want to give them a, and timestamp type that's it yeah and uh, let's see how our table look like now ID ma name message and time we have a timestamp as well now every message uh, has a little timestamp with that time and date with that when it was actually added inside uh, the database like at this time you wanna see if you go back and look at the little, little stamp here at the end so we'll put this in front of the messages so let's go to page with the messages and uh, in the code we just maybe another echo a row and say column name time let's see Real history start again. John. Hi. Yeah, it's showing you the timestamp after in another line because we have a line break here after the message. So it's showing you in the next line. You can keep it in the next line, uh, but uh, it would be nice if it is coming on the the other side instead of down so let's put a span tag here close the span as well and maybe put the line break after this so the next message will be in the next line give a space and put commas so here and concatenate this with the dots so in the span we put an inline in css say style equal to float right you can float this to, to the right side so it's coming on this side so you can show it up in front of here as well but it's okay you can show you down there so how are you yeah so it has a time stamp, but it is coming up a date as well date and time and if you if you want to show it, uh, just the date only or oh, sorry just the time only or date only maybe as well so you can do that as well so we'll do that in the next video see you then